Hey guys, JCC2224 here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Hasbro Star Wars Attack of the Clones SP4 and JN66. These two droids, uh, they've certainly got something going for them, and what they've got going for them is their designs. Uh, SP4, that, that's, that's him, his design's kind of weird, I, I really don't know what they're going for, but something about it I just really, really like. But to JN66, I absolutely freaking love. His head looks like binoculars, dude, and I love it. Uh, I, re I really just like the aesthetics of these figures, and they came together, too. It's really, really cool. Here, let me show off the packaging real quick. Uh, so here you can see, they actually came on a standard card for the Attack of the Clones line. SP4 JN66. Then you flip it over, and then per the actual old bios, you actually get a really long read-up. So go ahead and pause it now if you want to actually see what the purpose of these characters are, if you don't remember them from the movie. And then really nice little shadowing, and then here's the other kind of crappy figures available. Yeah, these guys are really good compared to whatever the heck those are. So yeah, let's, let's get this box out of the way, because we are looking at the figures today. We're not reviewing the freaking box. So let's look at SP4 first, because he's certainly the... Uh, the most unique design, we'll say that. Uh, okay, he's got a freaking mohawk. This needs to be addressed. He's got a freaking mohawk. Some people may say, wow, that's freaking cool. But for me, I've never been a huge fan of mohawks. They just look kind of weird to me. So, seeing a librarian droid that has a mohawk is just so weird. I also had to heat it up and then straighten it out by just like doing that and running it under cold water. Um, I just almost knocked over the camera. I'm a very good reviewer. And this little thing, too, it was very uh, crooked. It was like that, and I just had to heat it up and straighten it up as much as I could. All over there, all over his body, you can see some nice little paint highlights, like especially on the arms and the shoulders and uh, the stomach. And even on the back, it even continues all the way around the back, which I really like. And even in between here, where they, where they didn't even have to do it. It's just really, really nicely painted. That's painted as well. I believe the uh, Mohawk is not painted. I really don't know, though. And even underneath his head, they painted it. It's just so fantastic. And then his goggles, his eyes, really, really nice looking. Uh, really, that's it with the details. I, I want to say, too, whatever this is, it's just kind of weird. I don't really understand what they're going for with the design, but hey, what can you do? Articulation on this guy is actually really, really good for what he is. He's got a hinge at the neck, as you've probably already seen. He's got a ball joint at the head, so he's very expressive. Swivel at the shoulder as well as a hinge at the elbow, which is really, really good, honestly, so you can get him actually looking like he's doing things. And then he's got just singular hinges at the legs, which, I mean, in what world would you really pose him in any way other than, like, just maybe a step forward or something? Honestly, for, the, for what he did in the movie, the articulation amount is just fine. And I feel like this figure really just holds up compared to modern figures. It's really, really good. Now let's look at JN54, my personal favorite, because he, number one, he's freaking floating. That's really, really cool. Number two, I love his different hands and his head. The design of this guy's head is just so freaking cool, dude. I cannot get over. I love the little wires on the bottom, too. Can't get over how cool the head design is. It kind of reminds me of a like binoculars and Wally -E at the same time. It's really weird. Once again, he's got the hinge and the ball joint. And he's got pretty much the same amount of articulation. And also, these little thrusters, the things that propel him up, they are also on the swivels. So you can have it so it's like he's going backwards, he's going forwards, he's stabilizing. You know, you can really get him looking nice. This hand, I assume, is probably for just, like, grabbing things. And I believe he used this hand, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, it's been a long time since I've seen Attack of the Clones, so I don't really remember. What this? I don't even really specifically remember this scene. I know it was really short. I need to rewatch Attack of the Clones. I, I really do. I don't know why. This base is really cool too because it's actually on a ball joint, so you can actually, you know, mildly tilt the character back and forth if you want, which is really cool. Also, it is removable. It does come separate in the package. So if you for some reason don't want him with it, you know, there you go. But looking at the paint details on him and the sculpt, because we really didn't do that too much. As you can see, just like SP4, he has the same like copper color over the silver. He's got this nice black along the thrusters. I really don't feel like they skipped out on any paint whatsoever. They even got on the back of the arms where you normally wouldn't even see it. 
really, really nice paint deco. And I cannot express enough how cool this two-pack is for just, for the $6 I paid for it. I'm really happy with these. If you're, I've said this before, if you're sick of Hasbro and what they're doing nowadays with the stupid five points of articulation things, and if you just want a two-pack of droids that were one droid out of the two-pack for six bucks has more articulation than a standard figure, then, well, this is, this is the place. So, yeah, guys, this has been the review of the, I believe, Star Wars Saga. I think that's all it's called. Um, SP4 and JN66. I'm actually very surprised I remembered those names. Make sure to come, like, and subscribe. Check out my Facebook page if you have a chance. Have a good day, guys, and as always, may the Force be with you.